Okay, so this is the model I've been developing up to now, and what I've done here is just uh, taking the expression around the corner and uh, finished it with a few more details. And the thing I'd like to do today is to uh, add sweeps um, to the walls I've already nested into the curtain wall, and that's actually one of the advantages of, of using a curtain wall is that I can um, uh, treat the panels as their own wall and add sweeps and reveals to these panels in a way that I can't I can't if it was a, a curtain system and so I can take this wall right here and add say uh, a brise and a wall cap to it and make sure it populates throughout my model very very quickly and that's what I'll go through uh, here in just a minute So if I pick this wall here and uh, uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, create a new family. And uh, I want this to be a hosted family. And this will be a sweep that I can add to my wall. And so um, I'm going to pick the profile hosted template. Open that up. And uh, you can see here these axis points uh, describe you know where the host face is relative to the profile you're, you're sketching and where the insertion points is. And you can always go back and adjust. But, but for now, I'm just going to quickly uh, do a uh, um, profile for like a, maybe like a stone or concrete uh, um, brise So let me just sketch it out real quick here. It's really more like a ledge than a brie soleil. You know, it's it's heavier, um, but it's also something to catch the bottom of this wall, give it a little bit of expression. And I, I want it to be, you know, pretty prominent. Uh, so maybe, I mean, just for now, maybe three foot or so outboard so you know something like this And I'll just take the scale down here just to get rid of the, uh, get rid of all that, just so I can see my profile. So that, that looks pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll take that for now. What I want to do is save this thing as, give it a name. I'll call it, uh, and uh, now that I've named it, I can load it into my editor loaded into my project. So now if you go to the uh, project editor here and click under profiles, it'll it'll be right there. Okay. And uh, if I go back to my 3D view, what I'm going to do is I want to retain this wall. Uh, just for, for reference to use when I don't need a breeze. So I'll, what I'm going to do is duplicate this wall and uh, rename it. So what I'm trying to do here is to make sure that um, the copy is going to be the, the wall type without the breeze soleil. And the original one will carry the, the, uh, the breeze soleil and the other sweep. This way, uh, when I 
apply the change to the wall, all of my while all of my walls will pick up the the um, the sweeps, and then the exception to the rule will be the uh, the wall without the sweep. And I will just I can just it's fewer walls to change. And this it'll become clearer as I as I go through. So the next thing I want to do is uh, add my uh, breeze profile here, and uh, I can assign a material like for example stone to the to the uh, to the wall and then what I'm telling it to do here is is to start zero in there one inch from the base and I'm just kind of what I want to do is set an offset so that it, it goes in line with the uh, with the wall now clearly it's not the right depth but I can go back in and change that in the in the uh, family editor later and then load it back in. So it's not a big deal right now. You can see here it's populated all of the walls that have been nested in the curtain wall with that with that profile. And then now all I need to do is go back and uh, if there's some walls, obviously there's some walls here that um, don't need the sweep. So I can change those to the second type that I made. So this one, you know, will just be the regular, oh, it looks like I've got a, I accidentally might have, I think I loaded that sweep into the, to the other wall types. Change that real quick. Right, so there's my brick on CMU wall type, and I'll just match. I'm not sure what that error was about, but I'll just match the other walls uh, to the type without. And you, you know, when you're working, you'll probably make many different kinds of walls, wall types that are that are sort of related. You can just copy the original one over, make the adjustment, assign the new walls to that, to the uh, different wall type. All right, that was, you know, pretty easy, pretty quick thing to do. Uh, the next thing I want to do is, is add a, uh, a cap to this wall, another kind of stone accent uh, to the top of this wall. And uh, I'll just uh, go back to the family editor here, open up another uh, create a new family from the pro hosted profile template. And uh, just kind of draw my profile here. You know, so it's something roughly like that. Save it, uh, name it, call it wall cap or whatever, or coping. Put that back into my project. Go back to the uh, 3D view, check the wall type out. And this one might go on both walls, so I would just, you know, add it to both wall types. Go back to sweeps. By the way, you can only get to sweeps if your view is, uh, is on the section. Hit the wall cut, and this one's going to be zero from the top offset, and there it is right there. Obviously, needs some adjusting, so I'll, I might go back to the uh, editor later, adjust the profile, and reload it back in, and it'll automatically adjust. A uh, couple of random, and there's my there's my wall caps. <laughs>